Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III. I'm affectionately known as the Pontiff. I am the luxury goods guru, the expert, the one and only fuckers. Today, I'm doing paid reviews. Remember to like, subscribe and tell your fuckhead friends about my channel. 20 US dollars for a paid review because I don't do shit for free. I got Fritz Space for Hire, I got Patreon. You can sponsor me a little bit of dollars each month <coughs> to keep me on the YouTube. Okay, fuckers, okay. Now, here we go. This is from John. Here we go. AC3, <coughs> I got a tricky watch choice for you. Panic Philly 5960 in platinum. That's an annual calendar chronograph. Great Isle versus Richard Millet RM011 titanium. My collection already includes a Rolex Deep Sea, an Automaz PGA 26401, 44mm in rose gold. That's a, um, just calling that up. That's a chronograph, I recall. Yep, offshore chronograph. Beautiful, beautiful. A Patek 5164. 5164. Patek 5164. Ah, oh, got an Equinox. Aquanaut Travel Time. Don't use my name. I wish to remain anonymous. Cheers, anonymous. Mm. Interesting collection there indeed. My friend, the humble billionaire. He had an RM11. And he was also looking at a, uh, a travel time. Very, very interesting indeed. So what do I think? Do you go for the Patek, the 5960, or do you go for the Richard Millet? Richard Millet is an annual calendar chronograph as well. What would I do? What would you do, fuckers? What would you do? Well, I'd ask the guru. I'd go to Archie Luxury and ask him because it's a big choice. Ah, uh, what would I do? What would I do? Fuck. Fuck. You'd have... To... I've actually felt and seen both watches. Both super cool. Both super cool. Super, super, super cool. Normally, I'd say go for the Patek. Normally, I would say go for the Patek. But... An RM11. Fuck. They are an amazing piece of work, man. That is a cool watch. Very, very cool watch indeed and uh i gotta be honest with you very tough choice indeed very tough tough choice indeed um i, I would have to say i would have to say I don't think you can go wrong either way. An RM11 or a 5960. Whoo! That is a pretty, pretty first world problem. That's for sure. It's a first world problem. Fuck! How many people on this planet do you reckon have that decision to make? Hey? How many fucking people? Now, let's, let's just check out the... Um, Let's go and let's go and check this cunt out. Let's go and check it out. What are they going for on Chrono Twenty Four? 
Chrono 24. Chrono 24, let's have a look. What's the cheapest RM11? Let's have a look. 85,000. Okay, 85, 80, 80, 85 to 90, to 90. Okay, that's what they're going for. I think that's what my billionaire friend had. He had the Philip Massa one, the limited edition. And then we're going to compare that to a, a Patek 5960 in platinum. That's uh, a fucking cool reference. Oh, they're actually, a, you can get those 50. Jeez, what the fuck? These have, what are they? I don't understand this. They're about the 35 mark. What's going on here? They, they've, uh, Oh, that's the steel one. Sorry, that's the st of course steel, 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 steel. Of course, yep, 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 yep. That's the steel. Uh, of course, of course, yes. Um, let's have a look here. Let's have a look at a platinum one. See if there's any. Ah, oh, the platinums. Yeah, there we go. The platinums are going to be about sixty-five. Sixty-five and a half. Yeah. Um. What would I go for? I'd probably, I'd probably go with the the Patek five nine six zero annual calendar chronograph from a legendary maker. I I, I like the RM eleven. It's it's the Richard Millay collectors of fuck it. Go for the Richard Millay. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it big time. You got an AP. You got an ego. Get the fucking Richard Millay. Nothing beats a Richard Millay. I mean, Patek is super cool. You know, but... Richard fucking Millay. I mean, fuck. It's a watch I'll probably never have. Richard Millay. Not that I don't want one. I fucking love a Richard Millay. Fuck it. <laughs> Get a Richard Millay. Fuck it, you only live once. When you're in the casket, you can say, Archie said, get the Richard Millay. Get get the fucking Richard Millay. Get the fucking Richard Millay. It, it is cool. It is fucking cool. Fucking, fucking, super fucking, fagulistic, fucking cool. Fuck, fuck, fuck. It's triple fucked. Triple fucking cool. That's what it is. Get the fucking RM11. It is, I mean, it just, anyone who knows anything about watches, Richard Millay, fuck. Fuck it, get the Richard Millay. I mean, Patek's making too much shit. They've released too many fucking complications. It's no longer super, super exclusive. So I, I get the fucking Richard Millay. Get the fucking Richard Millay. You live once, buy a good cigar. Smoke it and enjoy your Richard Miller. Fuck it, fuck it. Life is to be lived. Get the rich, get the Richard Miller, fuckers. Archie Luxury for the Archie Luxury Channel. Signing out, fuckers. We specialize here in pre-owned Rolex watches. Rolex watch is a very special timepiece, and we always do the servicing exactly as factory specifications. We buy a pre-owned piece and we put it into brand new condition. We have Rolex certified technicians working on that. We completely disassemble the piece. We adjust and polish and change every single part of the watch. You have to have certified watchmakers that know what they're doing. If you have an expensive car, you're just not going to bring it to any mechanic that doesn't know what they're doing. You spent $5,000. It's like if you put money in the safe deposit box and one or two years from now, you will keep having your $5,000. We have to spend a lot of money to get all this equipment together, but makes me feel I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. It's not a question of money, it's my passion.
Jewelers on Time, simply the best.